let's say that Lady Gaga, the lady, purchases this bond, and it's a hundred dollar bond with a five percent stated interest rate on the piece of paper. Right? So she pays the hundred dollars to whoever sold the bond, and she gets this coupon, this this IOU note. Let's say that as she's holding this note, you know, and she's this coupon that promises her to be paid 5% of $100 um, will make it a simple bond at the end of the year. As she's holding this, the stock market is changing. People who've bought stocks, they, the value of their stocks increase and decrease. And, um, but Lady Gaga has a promise on this bond that she, at the end of the year, if she turns this in, will get $105. It's some security there. Whenever the stock market is going down or is highly volatile, people tend to like to purchase bonds instead of stocks because stocks are iffy and you can lose your money. With bonds, you purchase it and you know for sure that if you keep up that piece of paper at the end of the year or the end of its maturity date, you can turn it in for a sure thing amount of money. So let's say that Johnny Depp is really worried about the falling stock market and he's looking for you know some sort of financial security and Lady Gaga is showing him her bonds and saying look at this look at my bonds and how amazing they are bonds and um, Johnny says, wow, I'd sure like to buy that bond. I wish I had that kind of security that would pay me a sure amount at the end of the year instead of putting it in the stock market and risking losing money. So she says, well, why don't you buy my bonds? And so let's say that Johnny buys the uh, bond from Lady Gaga. But she says to him, hey, you know, I paid a hundred for it, and I know you really want it. So since you really want it, you have to pay more than a hundred. So you need to pay me a hundred and two dollars. And he says, oh, "Okay, well it's worth it because I know for sure I'm going to get a hundred and five dollars at the end of the year. I will gain, as opposed to if I put my hundred and two dollars in the stock market, I could lose it." So he pays the lady a hundred and two dollars, and the bond is his. For Johnny, his effective interest rate or what we call the yield on the bond is going to be the coupon amount which is hundred and five dollars divided by the price he paid for the bond which is hundred and two dollars so when we do that his effective interest rate is going to be less than five percent even though the bond says on the piece of paper that it's a five percent interest rate bond his effective yield on it is going to be less than five percent Lady Gaga, if she had kept her bond, she paid a hundred and she paid a hundred dollars for it, and the coupon amount is a hundred and five. So her yield would have been a hundred and five divided by a hundred, and she would have earned five percent. But Johnny's yield is different because he paid a hundred and two dollars, and he's only getting a hundred and five. He's getting that fixed amount, a hundred and five, at the end. So his effective yield is less than five percent. Let's say that that never happened, and Lady Gaga is holding her bond that she bought for a hundred dollars, and let's say instead of the stock market going down, the stock market is on the bull, is is on the bull trend, going up. Even if the stock market is going up, her bond does not change. It's a set coupon, and it's worth, once again, $105 at the end of the year. But she's thinking, oh, man, I'm only getting a 5% interest rate on this bond, and the stock market looks like it's taking off. I could earn a lot more with my money in the stock market. So she then might say, you know, oh, man. I need to get cash so that I can purchase stock and get out of this bond that only has a 5%. I think I can make a greater interest rate, a greater uh, return in the stock market. So she's got to find a buyer for her bond. I'm on the right track, baby. I need cash. Okay, Snoop says, hmm, 
So you're selling your bond, huh? And she says, yeah, you want to buy it? You want to buy it? And he says, well, how much? If she can't charge $100 for it, presumably, most likely, because stocks are so desirable. So he says, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to buy it for $100. I, look at the stock market. She says, well, what if I discount the price? What if I sell it to you for less than $100? Hmm, well, maybe. So let's say she drops the price all the way down to $96, and Snoop buys the bond for $96. Now the bond is his. His effective interest rate on the bond now, his yield on it, is going to be the $105 divided by what he paid for it, $96. So his yield on this, once he pays a lower price, is going to be greater than the stated interest rate on the bond. It's going to be greater than 5%. So here's a chart that um, tracks what happens if the stock market is very volatile, like people are like, ah, I don't know what's going on, it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down, it's craziness, or we don't know what's going to happen, it could drop, and the big risk is that it's going to drop, like, and this is what's going on right now with the stock market and people's idea of the stock market because of the European crisis with Greece. They have no idea what's going to happen with Greece. So people are kind of freaked and they don't know what to do and they don't want to go into stocks because something bad could happen. So they want the security of bonds. They put their money into bonds. And because people are wanting bonds, wanting bonds, and say, oh, buy, I want to buy a bond, I want to buy a bond, the price of bonds rises and therefore the bond yields fall and interest rates then on the bonds tend to, the effective interest rate falls and interest rates in the economy tend to fall. In a bull market, when stock prices are on the rise, and people are like, well, I got to get into the stock market, I got to get in the stock market, I don't want bonds, I don't want bonds. Since people don't want bonds, they want stocks instead, and they're trying to dump their bonds to get cash so they can buy stocks to get, on, to get in on this amazing stock market, the price of bonds is going to fall. People are like, please buy my bond, please, I'll drop the price, I'll drop the price. So bond prices fall, and the bond yields tend to are going to then rise. So there tends, there tends to be, if you notice in this chart then, an inverse relationship between the uh, desirability of the bonds and the stock market. So as the stock market tanks, the desirability of the bonds rises. And when the stock market is on the rise, the, desir the desirability of the bonds falls. So people turn to one or the other, the tendency. And the bond yield is inversely related then to its price.